What's up, Slime Squad? Today, I'm gonna be recreating some viral slime trends, and actually, not all of them are slime. But anyway, I'm gonna be cutting some floral foam, show you how to make a slime scape, and guys, I'm using my stand mixer again, and it's amazing. You don't wanna miss it. Up first, we have surprise balloon cutting. Now, I love watching these videos because I'm like, what's in there? I guess the color, I don't know. So how I made this is I took a water bottle, cut it in half, and used the part where you a drink out of, and that was my funnel, and I placed my balloon around that, and from the cut side, I put my slime in and stuffed it into my balloon. This trend is so nice, I had to do it twice. It's kind of like Moto Moto from Madagascar 2. Uh, have you ever seen that? Because it's amazing. Next up is Bubbly Slime ASMR, always a favorite. You make this slime by basically making a fluffy and then just putting it in a container and letting the air bubbles rise to the top over a day, two days, three days. This one's probably a week. And don't worry, there's another one of these for you to actually listen to. Bubbly slime number two, and isn't she a beauty? Look at all those bubbles! Next up is one of the simplest slime trends ever because all you have to do is get a miniature and stick it in a container of clear. So the miniature I found was this rubber chicken and I think he's so hilarious and adorable and um, he's kind of making me hungry for some chicken? Or I guess it's a girl if it's a chicken. Oh, well, it's fantastic. I love it. And it's so easy, guys. Oh my gosh, how much easier can you get making your slime look amazing? For this next slime trend, I am going to be using some Daiso clay, and I'm going to need an extruder. So I got my garlic press, and I'm just gonna stick some in there, and guys, look at that. I'm in love. I just love how it just like extrudes out. <laughs> Here are some clear bubbles. I love these because I love bubbly slime to begin with, but these clear bubbles just happen to be more crunchy or crispy. I, I don't know what you call it, but they have more sound. All right guys, it's time for more clay extruding and I won't do the creepy voice, um, even though I'm tempted to do the extruding. Oh, but I won't do it. All right, so you need some Daiso clay and I picked out three colors and I tried this with Model Magic guys and it doesn't work, so you need Daiso. Um, and this time I am going to use not a garlic press, but a potato press. This one is much bigger, so the hair, I'm gonna call it hair, the extruded part is gonna be my hair and it's so much longer and it's it's amazing i just love how it just oozes out and it just starts curling it looks actually like a mop not that i want to do any work right now but that's what it looks it looks like one of those mops 
This is super satisfying. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. It's, it's incredible. I love it. Man, I love how it holds its shape. I love the extrusion because you could do it with any shape you have. And I love using this potato peeler much better, or potato extruder much better because you get longer pieces. For this next trend, I'm going to be recreating the surprise flown ball. So I have my flown pre-made and I'm adding a little bit more clear and some sparkles to it. Then I decided to add these cute little stars just for a little punch of color. Once you're done adding all your little ingredients, you're just going to start pinching it together. And I decided I didn't need that little piece I tore off earlier, so I just left it there. So pay no attention to the piece to my right. Finally, just shape it into a ball and you start mixing it in and it's like, wow, surprise. All your friends will be amazed. Like what's in your flume? Here's my surprise ball. Isn't it pretty? And in hindsight, I probably should have added some more uh, food coloring just to have it a brighter color because I like the brights. But this turned out pretty little pastel. The next slime trend, oh, I almost had a free willy moment there. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're adding more miniatures and we're gonna make a slime scape. A slime scape. So I have all these cute little marine life um, miniatures and maybe it's kind of like Finding Nemo, um, but I found him He's and he's in there. So you're gonna add a little miniature to the bottom and we're gonna put a little bit of slime on it. Now make sure you can see your little miniatures or else it's no fun. So there's Bruce, added him in there and I'm gonna layer some more and my whale and dolphin. They weren't in the movie so they don't have a name, but there's Nemo or is that his dad? Maybe he's trying to find him yet, I don't know. But some more, just keep topping it and keep layering it however you want to do it. And I topped this one off with a cute little crab. It's Mr. Crab. And I didn't want just plain white so I dusted it with a little bit of iridescent glitter. And voila, my slime seascape is done. How adorable is this? I love the depth of this slime and how the little miniatures just stay where you put them and you get to marvel at their beauty. Well, I don't have forever to play with the slime, so yes, I'm gonna take it out. And all you haters are gonna be mad at me. They're like, oh my gosh, you just made this, but yeah, I'm gonna play with it because um, some of you will be mad if I didn't, so here we go. This next viral trend is not slime at all, but it's slicing floral foam. And can I say just how amazingly satisfying doing this was? Oh my goodness. Um, Next time I'm going to have to wet this styrofoam and see how it cuts with it wet and see if there's a difference with the sound. Here's another simple slime trend going on right now. It's flown blending and so you just, I just shaped this um, because I want to make it look like a flower and it's just your foam, and then you just add some cute little balls to it, um, or your little charms, whatever you wanna do. And I just put this in the middle so it looks like the middle of a flower, and then simply, you're just gonna mix it together. Pay no attention to all the styrofoam balls that just fell on my table. You see nothing. <laughs> It's not because they wouldn't stick, it's because I'm not good at blending. Um, does anyone else have that kind of problem? I, I, I'm messy. This next viral trend is 
kinetic sand and guys I love this one yes no it's not slime but it is a viral trend that is super duper hot so let's do this I love watching the sand just kind of separate and fall oh my gosh I love slime pressing and I was so excited to be able to do this for finally I've been waiting I've been waiting in the wings I also like kinetic sand cutting so uh, guys um, heads up that'll be coming your way I have been waiting also to cut these stress balls I see them on Instagram all the time and I'm like oh I want one I want one I want it I want it um yeah I watch a lot of movies <laughs> I've kind of realized that this this video here all right so you get stress ball and you squeeze it and you cut it and that's it guys and I was really surprised that it didn't like spew out it's kind of you had to press it to get all the slime out but this was very satisfying as well and honestly, I thought the slime that was in these would be that crappy slime. Um, you know what I'm talking about. But it's actually a really cool, clear slime. Here's another twofer. It really pained me to cut these. Um, so I might have to go get one just to have. This one didn't contain a clear slime, but it had a clear slime consistency. Um, it wasn't a white slime consistency at all. It was pretty thin. It was go. Oh. <laughs> um, come back here. I saw this glitter pour over on Instagram and I thought it was interesting because you put the glitter on the bottom and then you pour over your clear. And I just thought that was really unique. And I saw this on the account the bold slimes so once all your clear is poured out you're just going to incorporate your glitter into it those colors y'all oh my gosh it looks like uh, cotton candy I know it doesn't taste like cotton candy but it looks like it I think this is one of the prettiest slimes I have ever made oh it's so pretty so pretty All right, guys, I'm going to be mixing these styrofoam balls in my stand mixer. And I have gone ahead and put in some white slime. And guys, I love this slime. I've seen this on Instagram and I've always drooled over them. I'm like, I want to do that. So yay, I get to do that. And I want to show you guys how to. Um, it's basically like a, I don't know, styrofoam ball smoothie. Because <laughs> it's all these little styrofoam balls and it reminds me of a party like who wants to party? I do! Let's party! I love all these colors. It's coming together and the pops of greens and purples and oh my gosh guys Like I love the brights. You know me. I love the brights and I hope you do too because This thing is going to be bright Just wait until I start mixing. You won't believe it. It's gonna blow your mind. Pay no attention to the messy workstation. I've been working. <laughs> so I'm loading up my slime into my stand mixer and guys we're fixing to get going here. And yes, I did just say mixer because my, my tongue just messed up. Mixer. And I'm gonna do the dough hook so that we can see it better. Three, two, one, go. Isn't this the coolest color combo fantastic party you've ever been to? I am loving it a lot. A lot. I mean, seriously, though, this looks like a party slime. That's what I'm going to call it. Party slime! Is anyone else chuckling about the slime smashing its face against the side here? I, I, just, <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. I don't know why. I'm a little weird. 
All right, I'm gonna pour out my party slime, and guys, look at the colors. Look at the colors. It actually reminds me of Dippin' Dots. Mm, I could go for some of those right now. I hope I just made you hungry, because that's awesome. This slime has an amazing texture and has fantastic pokes. In my last video, I spread some pigment and this time I wanted to try out spreading glitter. On Instagram, you see them doing glitter all sorts of ways, um, me included, I've tried it different ways. Um, but I've never spread it like this. I've topped it and like you stick your fingers into it, um, the, the glitter mixing bowl. But I wanted to top it on here and see what kind of design this would make because the pigment guys was amazing in the heat from a hot california i forgot how you look like in rain glitter spreading is just like pigment spreading it is super satisfying super smooth to spread out um, glitter is different obviously because there is more mass to it and it thickens up your slime a little bit too whereas pigment doesn't change the consistency of your slime and it just smears right on this I'm going to call a galaxy slime doesn't it look like a galaxy oh my heart is broken just like my slime 